Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a scallop edge on a fleece blanket. The written pattern and supplies list is on Nastasia.com. You will need one skein of red heart yarn and a size F hook and 47 inches by 47 inches of fleece fabric. By the way, be sure to click on the subscribe button to get notified of new videos from me each week. We're going to place marks on the fabric, so use a pencil or a washable fabric marker. Place your tape measure on one side of the fabric and place a mark at 1 inch, 2 inch, 3 inch, and so forth. You'll have 46 marks on this side. Turn your fabric and place marks every inch on this side. You'll have 46 marks on this and all other sides. Then place an additional mark, one in each of the four corners. To review, start with 47 inches by 47 inches piece of fleece, place 46 marks on each side, then place one mark in the four corners for a total of 188 marks. Now, take an awl and poke a hole through the fabric along each of the marks. Ensure your crochet hook can fit through the holes. And if you're on social media, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. With your yarn, make a slip knot. Find the hole right next to a corner and make a single crochet into it. Then in this corner, we'll first chain five. Then make a single crochet stitch. Then chain five again. And make another single crochet stitch in that same corner hole. Then for the remainder holes on this side, just chain five and make one single crochet. Chain five, one single crochet. Repeat this process until your next corner. Once this side is completed, let's work in this corner. Chain five, single crochet in the corner. Then chain five again and single crochet in the same corner. Continue down this other side with just a chain five and one single crochet in each hole. After going around the blanket in this pattern, just slip stitch to the first single crochet. To begin round two, Slip stitch into that adjacent loop, chain one, and single crochet in the loop. Now in this corner loop, make nine treble crochet stitches. If you need help with the basics of crochet, be sure to see my beginner crochet videos on YouTube, which 
review stitches like the treble crochet. Then, in the next loop, single crochet. You can see what we have done. Chain 5 and make a single crochet in the next loop. And in this next loop, we're going to repeat that whole 9 treble crochet stitch motif. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then single crochet in the next loop. Chain five, and single crochet in the next loop. You can see the pattern here of nine treble crochet stitches with chain five loops in between them. To finish this round, we're doing something a little different. Chain two and then double crochet into that first single crochet. Chain one and single crochet in the loop. In each of the treble crochet stitches, we're going to make a treble crochet, but we're going to put a pico in between. Make your treble crochet stitch, chain three, and slip stitch into that first chain. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we'll end with just a treble crochet stitch. You can see the nine treble crochet stitches and the eight picots in between. Single crochet in the next loop. Start the motif all over again. Treble crochet in each of the nine stitches. Put a pico in between. And here's my last treble crochet. And then in the next loop, single crochet. You can see what this looks like. Continue around the blanket with this pattern. At the end, just slip stitch to the first single crochet to finish. Cut and weave in all of your ends. And here's the finished crochet scallop edge on a fleece blanket. To view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to like and comment on this video. Check out the description or the info button of this video for more information. And please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.